Welcome back to another Civilization 6 video here as the Aztec Empire. So I have something super special for you today. If you've been a fan of this channel for a while and subscribed and everything like that, thank you very much. But you might remember in the past, I've actually done things such as DD challenges. So if we actually look here, I did one here. Worst Civ Ever by Georgia. This could be an issue. I don't even remember who I played. Coupe. <laughs> it says right there. And in the past, I've also done things like no government, no governor, no city turn till turn 20. Worst start ever. But anyways, we're back to another Civilization 6 game. And what are we doing? We are basically, if you see our settler, we are not founding our capital this whole game. So the only way to get a capital is to take it over. And the only way to take it over is with our one warrior unit. And Gandhi is in this game. There's your capital. That is awesome. So close. Let's use our settler to scout out the enemy territory. I really hope you actually, oh, if you build a farm there, I think we got this. I think we got this if you get a farm there. So I've tried this actually quite a bit. <laughs> this, is, this is not easy taking it over. Like basically this kind of, I feel like this game decided in the first 20 or 30 turns or so. And we actually had to go back. We went down to <coughs> default prince difficulty because <laughs> otherwise this is way, way too tough. So what are we, should we attack now? So this built their scouts. They're probably right now on a worker. I don't know. I'd love to figure out where their stupid warrior is to make sure it's there. It's right there. They brought it back home and there's a scout there. Oh, okay. It's going away. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> scout almost took our settler. That would have been game over. Come on. Please leave. Leave warrior. Okay, I think it's like two tiles away now. Let's just keep an eye on their warrior. It's still too close. It's still too close. Move away. Come on. Okay, you're there. Oh, and it's almost dead. And it's almost dead. But then they expand to here so we won't be able to attack this turn. So let's see. Maybe they'll die. Let's declare a surprise war. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Oh, why did it bring us over here? That is the worst. Okay, they already have a governor. I think their warrior's dead. No way. No way. Okay. Please build a worker. Please build a worker. Come on, other barbarian worker, warrior. Come down there and help us out. There you are. Help us out. Help us out. Attack the city. The scout. We are fine with the scout. The scout can't do anything against us. Do we got it? Oh, so close. Why don't you attack the city? We got it. We got it. Oh, Gandhi. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gandhi. Let's raise the city. <laughs> Just kidding. This is our capital. Let's take a look at how it is. Do we have any buildings in here? Minus two amenities. Amazing. Uh, no palace. <laughs> no governors. Rising 17 loyalty per turn. All right, let's put our... Wait, what? How did this happen? Oh, are we really the first one to meet Cardiff? Okay, perfect. So we need to change things around. So let's go ahead. I guess let's keep this food tile, but let's go to this production tile. And if we're looking around, we have we have sheep down here, we have stone to the right, and we have cattle up over here. We have a really nice floods plains. This will be really, really nice in the future if we ever get to industrial zone and stuff like that. But honestly, 0.6 science return, that is pretty bad. So for technology, we'll go for animal husbandry because right here we can get a pasture and get one production on those resources, especially this sheep down here. That'll be two 
production, which is quite a lot for us right now. For what we're gonna build, oh, that's kinda reset now. Okay. Eight turns repair that, let's just go for an Eagle Warrior. You might be in this kind of situation in some other game, you know, 0.6 science, turn 28. <laughs> well, actually I think that's pretty much impossible because the palace provides some nice science. But what we need to do is appoint Pingala to our capital and then get another governor promotion and then go for researcher right away because that's one is going to benefit us the most, especially now that we, you know, are just in our lonesome over here. Let's take this thing out. So what do we need to do to win this game still is we need to find out where other AIs are. And to do that, I guess we need to, oh, there's our Barbarian encampment. Free gold, this is great. 10 gold, zero gold per turn. That's 50 gold, that is huge. And we got our secret society number two. Governors, Pingala, Promote, Researcher. That is huge. We're now at 1.5 science per turn. We'll be at 3.5 and 4.5 in a little bit. 4.7. So Cardiff is actually not that bad of a city. Hmm. Maybe we should take over Cardiff. If there are no dogs I think I like that idea. What is this unit? It's a Cardiff warrior. Okay, let's just do this. Let's declare war on them. Because there's an Aztecs, there's a chance that we can actually get a nice worker by killing this warrior. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh, there's two of them. Even better. Yeah, we're surrounded. We can move here, though. Are they going to come for our city? Don't you take over our city. We'll go inner capital and then attack out. So now we have a nice high combat strength for our capital. Oh, they are attacking our city. Huh. Maybe we should repair our monument to get one more culture per turn. And then go for another Eagle Warrior. I'm really hoping that we get some really nice workers from this. Oh, you, you promoted. I don't like that. Well, we're not attacking you. Sometimes the wheel turns. There's a heavy chariot already. Man, 6.2. We're crushing science. We have more science than Georgia. No way. <laughs> How is this possible? I guess Delhi is just crushing it with population. Oh, that's great. Come on, worker. Yes, we got a free worker. So as you can see here, 21. And it goes up to 28 because our unit is a little bit damaged right now. Now we healed up a lot more. We could take this one out. Come on, free worker. Yes. Yes, that's going to help us so much. So after we get irrigation, we'll try to go for... Let's see. No religion is actually done yet. I honestly wouldn't mind getting political philosophy as soon as possible. But let's first go for state workforce. What was that? Wait, that was a heavy chariot? Heavy chariots are no joke. Oh, there's our capital. Oh no. Are they gonna take our settler or will we lose a game? The man who has we did not lose a game. But we can't have that. We gotta get this back. Okay, we can get it back. We can get it back. Thankfully, <laughs> we can get our original settler back. Yeah, so let's just build it here. I like that. Let's go ahead and build it. We have all these workers. We can use our worker charges. As the ASX, you can spend the builder charge to complete 20% of the original district cost, which is pretty good for us. Yeah, they have a heavy chariot inside there. I don't know how we're gonna get that thing out of there. Yeah, let's just peace out. That's not gonna happen. We need to peace out. I'm also interested in creating any iron around here. Iron down here. It's four away. Iron in Cardiff. Down to 22. Hmm. <laughs> Time for a U turn. Oh, a Pantheon. Ah, oh, damn. Desert folklore looks like it's gone. So we do have a lot of plantations. We have one, two, three, four. Just one with our capital. We'll have two. Pastures here and there. So let's just do Goddess of Festivals. One culture for plantations. But now, more importantly, we are going after Cardiff. 
Let's go ahead and declare war on them again. We can get rid of this thing, which would be great. Boom, heavy chariot's gone. Now we just have to worry about this archer. Two archers, I mean. <laughs> oh, that helps. Look at this. Bam. Make our vampire stronger. And let's just start attacking. We have two builds. Let's go ahead and chop this. Done the nine turns. I like that. Did they just finish Quadream? Oh, it's a galley. 34. Man, you got to kidding me. Okay, they captured it. Okay, and the galley left. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is perfect. So we can go after this thing. Okay, this thing's definitely attacking the city. Let's see. Let's attack here. And then take it back. Got it. And then now keep going after the city. We almost got Cardiff already. Let's go for this cotton. Another luxury resource makes our units even stronger. Okay, 32 now. That's something. That's big, but I think we can do it. I think we're strong enough. We're strong enough. We did it. We did it. Oh, yes. We have two cities now and we have iron. And look at this, a plus five campus. Are you kidding me? Plus six campus. Oh, 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 I almost missed that. I almost missed that. Okay, first of all, let's see, what do you need? Let's repair this granary. And then we're gonna get this builder over here and start getting that campus. Imagine oh, we finished Stonehenge. Oh, I totally store, forgot we're building this because we're just having so much fun down in Cardiff. Into an upright position. Oh, that should be and our new capital, say, Cardiff. Right, lads, another 20 like that. Then we can party. But we got Stonehenge, because we're playing Prince. Otherwise, Stonehenge would definitely be gone. Turn 92. Everything has oh, existed. man. Now we can find our religion. Getting work ethic, the desert folklore would have been absolutely just game-breaking. Let's just go for Divine Inspiration, because I've never, ever done that before. Let's just go for Tith for the additional gold. Yes. Two error score. We got a lot of error score for that. I definitely do not want to fall into a golden age or a dark era. Next era, because that would just be really, really bad. I guess move there. Come on, something good. Did my horseman. Whoa. We need backup. That is not good. Horsemen are really, really strong. Oh man, so much combat. Yep. Well, we might as well make this thing stronger before it goes back to our capital. Oh, they didn't kill it. You know what? Let's just go like this. And then now you're... You're dead? Okay, we lost our vampire. Um, That's cool, I guess. If we kind of look at our situation here, we're currently producing a battering ram in the capital. I am not entirely sure if we need that. I would love to produce another eagle warrior. But if you do not know this, if you have an Eagle Warrior or Warrior queued up and you have the resources available for the next upgrade, so in our case that is Iron, once we hit 20 Iron, this will automatically convert over to a Swordsman and it'll take our 20 Iron away from here so we cannot upgrade our current units. So we definitely do not want to be building that right now. So what are we going to do? Well, if you look here, we can actually levy Kabul's military for 300 gold. I don't know what they have. I want to make sure they at least have another heavy chariot because otherwise heavy chariot and a warrior is just not exactly worth it. Okay, there's another heavy chariot. All right, that's two heavy chariots and we have 20 iron next turn. This is perfect. Okay, so what you want to do is let's put in our three more envoys in the Kabul and let's look at the Dutch. The Dutch don't really have anything going on. They are super, super weak. Let's levy this military. Oh, wait. Were there really four? Four heavy chariots? And a warrior? This is absolutely amazing. So we got another governor promotion. Obviously, we're going to go for Victor. Because we're about to go to war with the Dutch. If you don't realize what's actually going on. Okay, they're not happy. Um, I guess we have to declare war now. <laughs> I guess we could have just waited because it really doesn't matter for us. But let's just go ahead and declare war. Now we have all of these amazing units. So let's just go ahead and start moving in. 
if you're in, I think it's just ally territory, you can just upgrade your warriors inside of there. You don't have to go back home. So now we have our swordsmen ready to go. We have the city pretty well surrounded, but unfortunately it's still gonna heal up next turn. Uh, I think we should just probably still start attacking it. We need to actually get going, taking over this city. Now, this city will not heal anymore. Let's just go ahead and move our Eagle Warrior and stuff like this over to this one. Our Swordsman, Eagle Warrior, our Free Warrior. And let's take over the city with this unit. Done. We'll keep this city. I don't know. <laughs> Loyalty will be somewhat of an issue. Let's see. What are we at? 16.6. .6. That is quite a bit. Get rid of Maneuver and put in Luminati. And that is all loyalty stuff we have right now. So, oh man. Recorded history is absolutely amazing for us next because Praetorium's in there for two more loyalty for the cities and natural philosophy, which we desperately need, especially for this plus six campus to the south. I do want to build, I think, another holy site. So one of the downfalls of actually going for a religion when you're doing a domination victory, if you look here, their loyalty, well, if, if they were following a different religion, we'd lose another three loyalty per turn. So that's kind of a good reason to not go for a religion if you're trying to actually get a domination victory. Okay, the, the, they just killed themselves into our heavy chariots. Oh, that is pretty good for us. They did heal, and I think they also attacked, which is which should be impossible. So we have this warrior here. 65 faith is actually something we do need. We need the faith because we need to actually... What's this scout doing here? We need to actually buy another missionary in here. 160... That's the closest place we can buy it. Because if you remember, we have two air score every time we convert a city over to our religion. Let's go over and try to convert Cardiff for another two air score. I would love to go to for a golden age. I mean, we kind of need it, honestly, because uh, our loyalty over here is pretty, pretty bad. They just got walls in Amsterdam. Um, that's not good for business. That is really, really not good for business. We can at least take over this city with all of our units, I think, quite easily. But now we have this city also. We're going to finish our government plaza next turn. I will love, and we'll have, we'll have two government titles. Perfect. Two government titles next turn, which we can get another governor or we can do Victor of Praetorium. I would really like, a, like another government title after that, so defensive, defensive tactics, because we're gonna go to the next era, and in the next era we can upgrade our sanguine pack again and get the another vampire, and we can actually build some vampire castles, because uh, we, we need our vampires back. Building a vampire castle, we could probably build it maybe right around here. It would be a pretty good spot. We'll put a mine right there. Yeah, I think I think I'm liking that. And we'll just keep this one too. Now we have a healthy amount of cities in this game. And we have it. Oh, did we just get an envoy? Yeah, we got our envoy for taking over an encampment. Oh, this is going to be close. We need five more air score. We should get this holy site done in three turns. That'll give us like three air score. And then this missionary will be down there. And oh no, there's a barbarian encampment right there too. We definitely do not want to give you any iron. We need our iron. I've lived through some there is recorded history. Okay. We're losing loyalty, so let's definitely change things up a little bit. So go for Praetorium. Right there, and then that's all for loyalty. Well, natural philosophy, I should get rid of urban planning. There we go. 18.9 science up to 25.2. Much, much better. And our loyalty here, 6.6. .6. We're actually gaining 10.1 in here. That's... Actually, pretty impressive. And 16 here. Let's actually move you. We'll move Victor over to Rotterdam. This should be pretty good. And now let's just see here. Our city's 32, 24, 8, and 10. Yeah, we're gaining loyalty everywhere. 
All right. All right. Okay, now we just have to go for Amsterdam. And what do we need? We actually need a battering ram. Once we get a battering ram, we'll have a couple swordsmen. Kind of wish we had more. There's our plus three. Okay, are we... We're literally one error score away. Okay, this good. We have at least three turns. We have two turns to do this. I don't know if we're going to get it now. Six people is a lot of people. We have three followers. Maybe we'll actually get it next turn. Do we get it? Crap, people. We got it. We got a golden age. Oh, that's so good. That's so good for domination. Because we need... Loyalty pressure is the like, number one downfall. But now we have a pretty good empire. Amsterdam's still up there. I really wouldn't mind capturing this settler. Just don't found a city randomly. Come on. We are saving up our gold right now to try to buy a battering ram. They have a little bit more gold now. What do they give us? One gold. That's it? Really? All right. They don't like us anymore. <laughs> They're this jealous. They're jealous. We can get their settler. Got it. Got another settler. We're not, obviously, we're not going to found any city. But now, lumber mills are pretty good. I really think a good spot for the vampire castle would honestly be right where this heavy chariot is. We'll have this source, we'll have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve production there. And six gold. That's pretty good. We just need, I think we need to clear this jungle tile first. So, so I'm kind of building a builder over here. There's the golden age. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And now we have another governor promotion. Let's see. The Dutch went to a normal era. Tomorrow's a heroic age. This is hard to do the dedication. Um, free inquiry is not too great for us because we don't have any commercial hubs or harbors. And we'll probably not really get too many Arikas. Pembrush and Voice would be pretty good. One culture for each specialty district. We have quite a few, probably at least have like six. So that's, it'll bring us up to 31 culture per turn. Mining mentality is something I would normally choose because we would definitely buy some settlers with that. But since we're not founding any cities, you know, buying builders would be really good too. Or we can do this one. This would really help converting over the cities. Let's just try this one. Let's convert over the cities to our religion. So we don't have to worry about that loyalty pressure. And as is for the settler, let's just delete this unit from the game. We're only keeping our original settler. More importantly, we do have 260 gold. Now we can actually buy a battering ram. And these are still ancient walls. Yes, thankfully. <laughs> thankfully. I'm so used to playing DD where basically it doesn't matter anymore because ancient walls are gone. Military emergency, obviously. <laughs> this is probably going to pass because uh, people hate us. There it goes. We're not at war with Georgia. Let's promote... Actually, we probably need another governor, honestly, for all of all the cities we're going to take over in the future. I was really tempted to promote Pangala right there. Yeah, there's their catapult. They want peace? After the military emergency. Are they scared of our military? 309 versus 48 versus 20. Persia is 20. That is so weak. What's the movement cost up here? One. Okay, we can go like this. Now this thing's taking some damage. So they're trying. They're trying so hard. To actually, to actually, you know, take things over. But now we got their city. 100% goodbye, Amsterdam. Let me ask you, Matterhorn's in this game. To pay a tribute of respect and admiration Whoa, to we need to go next to that thing. That is actually pretty secluded. Five error score for that. Yeah. We have to go around here. I think this is a big mountain range. Seven turns left for our heavy chariots. We have two heavy chariots remaining. All the rest of the military units are ours. So all of the units we actually lost have been have belonged to Kabul, which is perfectly fine. And we can go like this. Let's go ahead and move our farm over here for one additional food and build our first vampire castle of the game. Look at this thing. 13 food, 13 production, and 6 gold. That helps our capital so much because right now it has 13 production. We literally doubled it in one turn. We can start moving in. Let's do this. Got our banner gram. Still ancient walls, which I like to see. One, two, start attacking. Yeah, quadrums are not too bad. 
we should probably build some more of these things. Our force, first Georgian city, is about to be ours. Let's just do this. Take it over. Got feudalism. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see how the loyalty is. Probably is not great. Only minus three. Sure, we'll keep this city. Looks like Georgia only has three more cities because the cities that show up here are not their capital. So I was going to add one here. So three more cities that we do not have, which... Oh, we lost, we lost our Kabul. I was wondering what was going on. But now we got Corsairs. Let's upgrade this thing right away. Move it one over. Now we have some units around here. Let's see what this thing unlocked. Okay, okay. Education? Wow. Oh, there's stirrups. There's knights. Let's go for 49 science return. Tomorrow's actually 59. How are we doing, wise? We're um, not last anymore. Sirius is actually last. Let's see what they have. Oh, this city. Two campuses right here and here. Do they have any walls? No. No walls. They just had walls in their border city. We don't even need this battery. Oh, but I still bring the battery ram around just in case. But it's looking pretty good for us. Wow, that's a major victory. Actually, can we just take over this city with just our cross here? I think so. Oh, this is awesome. This is great. Maybe we should move this swordsman and start going towards Sirius. They actually have walls. We probably need to build another military. Where'd your skull come from? Probably need to build another military to go up here. Oh man, let's get rid of this thing right away. Three error score still? I don't even know if we need our vampire unit over here. Honestly? Oh, we got another, we got another worker. Where's their other city? Okay, to so the north. I'm gonna take over their capital. We can be Caesarean of Brussels. Yeah, this would be pretty good for us. This would reveal a lot of the map for us around here. Glorious wild. Another, look at, look at their military. How much does it cost? 780. Couple Corsairs, four heavy chariots, two archers. Man, that would just go through the Persian territory pretty easily. 18 combat strength. Okay, 780 gold, that is all we need. Now we have the problem with the walls. But I guess now we got our, we still have our battering ram over here. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. We'll just upgrade this thing. They got a pike bin. Whoa. Holy smokes. That is huge. At least we can still attack with that unit. Oh, can we, let's actually take it. We got it. We got their pike bin. Okay. Okay, that's no joke. Pikemans are uh are kind of strong. There's Niter. Do we have any Niter? We have one Niter. Right over here. Okay, builder right there. Perfect. Perfect builder. One build left. That's all we need. That's all we need around here. Maybe we should go. Let's just do this. See what we can get for our religion. Let's just go for Crusade. Crusade is fun to play with. That's just a, and what we can do is I don't think Persia actually has a religion in this game. Georgia, Netherlands, unmet player, perfect. So we can buy some missionaries over here and go up over to Persia's lands. I mean, honestly, we don't need it to take them over, but it's still pretty nice. Here's a moment of truth. <laughs> we can't get through here. Uh, maybe we can go through Georgia's lands. Okay, they brought their pikemen over here. Oh, that's a pretty good victory. Let's just go over here. Let's not attack it because it might run away. So let's attack it next turn. And let's see what is going on with this city. Okay, 41 and they have walls. 41 is no joke. There we go. So I'm bringing some missionaries up here to try and convert over Georgia's city. That'll make things much easier for us. Because with Crusade, 10 combat strength is, is pretty nuts. It is pretty crazy. We need to change things up a little bit here. This is a wall. <laughs> and the walls against heavy chariots are just super, super bad. Battering ram, two turns, I like that. And we should be able to, two turns, we'll be able to upgrade all 
all of our heavy chariots and knights because we have 46 iron. Let's see, what's the best way? The best way is to be on the right side of this river so we can just go right up to Persian Empire. How expensive? 160 gold? Let's just make sure we have, we have, do we have professional army in? Yeah. I wouldn't mind actually, you know, Brussels had a huge military, 1,020 gold now. That's not gonna, we have 543, 30 per turn. That's not gonna happen any time soon. So let's just go ahead and go like this. Brussels, we should also see who is actually no Caesarian. Okay, so we can declare war on them and then declare a war on Persia and then become Caesarian in Brussels after that. So they'll be war with them too. We learned from the last episode, we can unlock pike and shots, but we can't upgrade them until we actually get pikemen. So let's just go like this. And we need machinery for this. Man, this order is really, really weird. I'm actually surprised they still have 36 science per turn. I didn't think that was actually possible with one city. Well, I mean, I know it was possible with one city, but I mean, come on. This is the AI here on Prince here. What's going on? This should do it. There we go. We got crap people on Georgia's lawn. 67 now. <laughs> that is great. Let's see. Oh, 200. Oh, that is why. We need to upgrade our thing to the next. Yeah, we need machinery as soon as possible, actually. We should probably back up with our units. There's their capital. Okay, they definitely have knights. 100 fortification, 64 combat strength. So if we have musket men, that should be okay. We can actually have our military. Okay, let's bring some this way. Oh, and they got 200 here too. Okay, we need to bring our battering ram back. The world has been changing recently, but we can change with it. Congress, absolutely pointless. Don't care, don't care. Just got siege towers, which we just really needed. Let's see this though, yeah. 40 gold, what a deal. We can go ahead and go in this one too, this pikeman. Pikeman is no joke around here. Just take it out. They're trying. We got our pikemen. <laughs> yeah, we won the diplomatic thing. Let's see. 187 diplomatic favor. Maybe we should try to sell that instantly because we're already down 13 per turn. For technology, let's go right for, I mean, education would be good, but I mean, metal casting. Get piking shots. Make our pikemen just amazing. They already got 41, but they're going to be even stronger. Now we can actually test out. The siege towers, let's go here. Major victory. Awesome. It doesn't work with, you know, these units, but it's still it's still it's still fun to attack. Oh, we get two attacks with this unit. I totally forgot. Alright, Georgia is gone from this game. Another five more era score. We desperately we got a golden age for the next era. Just secured it pretty easily. Yeah, they have a really nice campus here. That is why they had 30-something science return. Oh, man. Now we can go after thieves. So this unit is definitely not moving out of the city. Let's just clear with per war with Persia. We're going to do it. Formal war. Yeah, that's a pretty big victory. Not for, our, you know, knight units and stuff like that, but any melee unit. It's actually kind of taken over pretty easily. Crusade is uh, is pretty strong. He didn't do anything to us. Oh man, that's great. Let's just take over their city. Well, can we not do it? What's going on here? There we go. Let's just keep this city too. Let's go ahead and move things around. The reason why I want to kind of keep this city is so we can heal things up and upgrade things along the way. Oh, they got walls. We're just passing by. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, they just got walls. Too bad they're really crappy walls. Let's see. This is just too far away still. Let's pillage just to get some more health. That's a lot of health. And they did not take over Susa. Interesting. 
103 faith. We honestly don't need the faith. Let's just take the city. And uh, let's just raise it. This city's pretty bad. No districts. Just finished mass production. There's gunpowder. Finally, there's gunpowder. Galileo, where are you? Let's go here. Discover gunpowder for us, please. Here we go. Finally got musket men around here. We should probably move these units back. Yeah, these swordsmen. We just did it. Let's just keep this city, obviously, because we kind of need to. Start going west with their empire. We have to take over this city. That should be, I think, their last city. We can't even wait. We can't even make peace yet, because it's only been eight turns since we declared war. Things are going that well for us. All right, let's go ahead and go to war with the Egyptian Empire, just because it's just more fun this way. And let's go ahead and make landfall. I guess next turn? What's going on here? There we go. But we can now, now we can attack their city and do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, pike and shots. Pike and shots are super good. Can we take, what's this movie cost to the right? One. So we can go one right, we can go like this, and now we can attack with our ranks. Much stronger unit. And our muskman. this one has an upgrade. So let's take it over here. There, frigates. Yes, 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 yes. Keep the city, oh, loyalty. I haven't had that issue in a while. So our war with Egypt, only 100, man. I figured this would do more and more damage than it's actually doing. Let's definitely upgrade this thing. And let's just bring our swordsman in there. I think it's strong enough for this kind of kind of situation. Here, yeah, it's still guys nice victory. Ooh, that's a really good victory. Let's just go ahead and actually just do shift enter. But here we go. We just beat the game without actually founding a single city. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Our ranking, number 17. All right. Thank you for watching.